after the embolization in March, Dr. DeBerg came into the recovery room and came over and shook my hand. And he's quite a good-sized man, and his handshake is a good handshake. And he came into the room and he said, Elliot, he said, uh, I'm very pleased with the procedure that we've done. He said, it's 99.999%. And I just gave a big smile. Because of the unique and the difficult, challenging situation, we really used everything that we knew to try to treat them. That is a combination of both uh, our technique through the vessels and Dr. Wallace's technique by opening the brain and looking at it. And, um, and so we were really at the very edges of what we can offer our patients. The treatment for AVMs and AVFs has traditionally involved the combination of embolization and brain surgery. This team approach was expanded in 1970 in Sweden when a patient with AVM was treated with focused radiation for the first time ever by means of a gamma knife. On May 24, 2005, Toronto became the recipient of Ontario's first gamma knife. 22.5 tons of equipment was lifted by crane in three pieces onto the third floor of Toronto Western Hospital. We are fortunate actually today to, to have seen the arrival of the gamma knife uh, equipment because the gamma knife is yet another tool that we can use whenever classic surgery or uh, interventional neuroradiology, that's what we do, if we cannot do it then sometimes the gamma knife is an excellent additional new way of treating uh, these patients. The gamma knife is a machine in which highly focused radiation beams are used for non-surgical procedures on the brain. Over 300,000 patients have benefited from gamma knife treatment in the last two decades. One in five Canadians suffer from some kind of neurological disease or disorder. The Kremble Neuroscience Program is Canada's leading clinical, research and teaching facility for disorders of the brain. Its medical director is Dr. Michael Failings. The acquisition of a gamma knife at the Kremel Neuroscience Center is a wonderful event and it really puts the Kremel Neuroscience Center at the University Health Network on the world stage in terms of applying the latest state-of-the-art technology to treat people with problems related to the brain. So what does this technology involve? What is the gamma knife? What this is, is a non-invasive way to deliver focused ionizing radiation to the brain. So it is a very pinpointed type of delivery of, of, uh, of radiation. It can be used to, to eliminate a small tumor in a very tricky uh, location. It can be used to, uh, to treat a small blood vessel abnormality like uh, in our patient, so which was in a deep location and difficult to reach. Elliot Raphael had a, a condition referred to as an arteriovenous malformation of the brain. And in some cases, these can be treated using a combination of interventional neuroradiology, where catheters are used to place coils, other devices to block the blood supply. In other cases, this is treated using microsurgery. And in other cases, the gamma knife may represent a therapeutic option. So in some cases, um, arteriovenous malformations may not be as accessible to surgery, and so this might be curable using minimally invasive focus radiation. The gamma knife procedure is done as a day surgery. First, a head frame is attached to your head with four screws. A local anesthesia is used. Second, imaging of your brain is done usually using an MRI or CAT scan, and for AVMs, angiography. Imaging is required to determine the exact size, shape, and position of the target for radiation in the brain. The frame also ensures that the radiation beams can be directed with precision to the target. The medical team then reviews your images and creates the treatment plan for your particular problem, whether it's an AVM or a tumor. The radiation, which is painless, is then applied without the use of a general anesthesia. Furthermore, to apply the gamma knife safely 
we need the roadmap. And so Dr. Tabrug's team can provide us that roadmap with either the MRI imaging or with very detailed pictures of the blood vessels of the brain. We are certainly happy to have this uh, gamma knife technology finally come to, to Toronto. In the past, all the patients that needed this type of treatment had to go to the United States, and now finally they will not have to travel. They can uh, be done in their own country. I think what Elliot Raphael's case demonstrates and what, what the acquisition of the gamma knife technology points out is the unique position of the Kremlin Neuroscience Center as as Canada's leading unit to treat complex neuroscience problems. It was very special, uh, very special to see this person who was so afraid of anything medical eventually making it through all these medical procedures and treatments and, and having a good outcome. I, I can't say enough about how I, how I feel about the Toronto Western Hospital. I, I just can't say enough. When you go to a hospital, you think that, you know, it's a very large surrounding, there's so many people, that you're a number. And I found that I wasn't a number, I found that I was a person. I'm alive, and I'm happy to be alive. Uh, I'm just thrilled when we're all together as a family, I'm thrilled when we're together as friends. It's just wonderful. Elliot's headaches haven't returned, but his zest for life has. He's back at his store and he's enjoying his second grandson, Ryan, who was born on February 3rd, 2005. Elliot's recovery would not have been possible without UHN's medical staff and researchers' dedication to finding the answers. I'm Sheila Walsh. Thanks for watching. I had no idea if even thinking about brain surgery, all I was thinking about is I have some headaches that I have to get rid of. But he, he was therefore quite lucky to be diagnosed before the real problem became a big problem. This is the first uh, Gamma Knife Center in Ontario, so it, this is going to be an amazing resource.